Hey guys, it's Brad. Got some product placement here for you. Um, this is a Frey Fitness uh, pair of squat stands. I bought 10 of these. Uh, already put them over in the storage unit, but I thought we'd bring one home to unbox it and see what we got inside. This box weighs 38 kilos. Figure out what that is, multiply it by 10. And that's where a lot of that 8,000 pounds came from. All right, we have some hardware. Uh, this is one of the legs. This is a leg. I'll go ahead and show you one of the legs, I guess. Legs, I guess this is more a foot. Probably. See, it's three by three steel. It's that thick, heavy duty, powder coated stuff. Um, see, this is one of the feet. I took off the little plastic piece. And then we'll see what all comes inside here, and then we'll we'll go ahead and build it. Actually, in the gym in my back door garage gym back there. Yeah, see, it's very, very nice, very sturdy. Uh, here's one of the legs. I'm calling everything a leg now. Ah. This looks like uh, one of the safety hooks. Or safety arms, maybe. Yeah, see? And then the only piece you haven't seen is the actual piece that holds the bar, which is this piece. This, uh, this is two by two. And it has this protective plastic so it doesn't touch metal anywhere in there, and that's awesome. So we'll go ahead and put this together. Well, we'll get it laid out in the gym, and then film putting it together. First step is to make sure you have the proper size wrench. Once you have that, and the socket, go ahead and get your instructions, ball them up, and throw them away. We don't need those. Never use the instructions. So I'm gonna speed through this at 15 times speed. I'm only going to put one of them together. I mean, they're, they're both the exact same. There are four bolts that you put the feet on with. Tighten those down. You've got the uh, safety arm or bench point on there. That goes in and you got the main part. And that's it, she's done. And there they are, all put together. Took about 20 minutes, probably would have been 10 if I hadn't thrown away the instructions. Uh, you can raise and lower where you need this, with this, and with the... Um, so I found out that this thing actually can go up and lock that in even more, and so this can slide all the way up, all the way down, can go all the way down to here, all the way up to whatever the highest setting is on there. And um, just gonna grab this old bar here. See how close you need to move these things to get set up. There you go. Squat stands. You get them as wide apart as you want. Can't go too close though because the feet in here 
but um, I don't know what would you would use these safeties for really. Uh, maybe because if you high bar squat or front squat, you're just going to dump it on the ground. Uh, honestly, I don't know. Maybe those would just be like another lift off point you could use depending on what exercise you're doing. Maybe you put it there to do some rows. I don't know how much weight it would take. It's not going to flip over with, I'm 215 pounds right now. It's a 45 pound bar. So you can at least put 225 on there and it didn't feel like it was going anywhere because these are inside the feet. But I mean, I guess you could lift off of there for some, some kind of row, put it back on there, maybe curl and squat rack. But the best thing these racks are for is front squatting. I mean, you could regular squat too. Um, you kind of want to be careful. I don't know if you can see the floor where my feet are, um, but kind of lift out, make sure you get outside of that. Yeah, I mean, pretty good. They're sturdy. They do what squat racks are supposed to do. I'm sure you could bench out of this thing, put it all the way down. Then these would probably make more sense if you were benching because you could set these up where it wouldn't crush you. Uh, if you have the um, rep style bench that slides right in there real nice. I can see a nice little home gym set up here. If you didn't want like a folding rack or a big cage, uh, and, and these are a lot cheaper too. So yeah, you can get it set up down here. It would be somewhere on there. Maybe, maybe, maybe you could set up for the bench off of these and bench. Ah, yeah, pretty versatile piece of equipment. All right, guys, keep training, and I'll see you in the next video.